Hi everyone, my name's Annette and welcome to Cotto Verdi. Today we are going to be putting up a wire trellis for our clematis, so let me show you how we're going to do it. I'm just quickly going to go through the things that we used to put up our wire trellis and I've put links to everything in the description below so you can just find what we used and order it yourself if you want. Uh, you're going to need a drill and drill bits. Um, for a brick, if you're putting it into a brick wall, you'll need masonry drill bits. And if you're putting it into a fence or fence post, you're going to need timber drill bits. We used 1.2 millimeter gauge galvanized wire for our trellis, and I wouldn't recommend going any thinner than that because the wire stretches over time and you don't want to have to keep replacing it every year, especially if you've got something permanent growing up your wall or fence. You're going to need a wire tensioner or turnbuckle for each length of wire and this will make your life much easier because you'll be able to come and tighten your wire each year if you need to. You're going to need screw-in vinyls. You'll need one on each end of the wire and you'll see that on the fence we put a, a vinyl in the middle as well for stability. You're going to need raw plugs for the areas where you're drilling into a wall but if you're not drilling into a wall you won't need raw plugs and you'll need some wire cutters. You'll see that we didn't use a measuring tape or spirit level because we put our wires um, six bricks apart and we just used the row of bricks to make sure that it was level. But you do want your wires to be uh, fairly horizontal so if you feel you can't do it by eye then please do use a measuring tape and a spirit level. So I'm going to do a voiceover for this bit because obviously the drill's a bit noisy and we had a lot of planes going over and the birds were really noisy because it's a very wooded area. I'm just going to let you know that we started with the brick pillar but it's very narrow so we decided we didn't need the turnbuckles on these wires but we did place them on the fence which I'll show you afterwards. Begin by deciding where your first row of wire is going to go. We placed our wire just below the top of the bamboo canes that are already on the clematis. Um, so we just put the first wire just below that so we could train it onto the first wire. Then you need to drill your holes and then if you're on brickwork or masonry you're going to need to put a raw plug into each of the holes so that you can anchor the screw for your vinai. You'll see it's easier to turn the vinyls if you thread another vinyl through the eye of the one you're trying to turn. To attach the wire just thread it through one eye, twist it over the end and then back on itself and twist a few times to secure it. Then pull it as taut as you can, uh, don't bend the vine eyes but just pull it as taut as possible and then thread it through the other vine eye and twist it back on itself again and that's plenty secure enough. And hey presto, you're done! For the fence posts we just lined up the wire with the wires on the brick pillar. So we drilled into all three fence posts and placed a vine eye on each of them. So these are the turnbuckles. It's really important when you're installing the turnbuckle that you have it open so the screws on each end are as far out as they'll wind without falling out. And this is going to give you the maximum tightening capacity on your wire over time. So simply hook the open end of the, onto the vine eye and then tie the end of your wire to the turnbuckle um, to the end that has the closed eye. And then twist or spin the central part of the turnbuckle until your wire is nice and tight. So each year we check how taut the wire is on each of the trellises and uh, twist the turnbuckle to tighten it if necessary. Sometimes they don't need tightening and sometimes if you've had a lot of things growing up it they'll just need a little twist to make sure the wire is taut. And that will help your plants be secure. So we just repeated that process for each of the rows of wire 
and then our trellis was complete. Then all that's left is for you to tie in the plant that you're growing up it. So that's it for today, the wire trellis is all done. If you have any questions uh, then leave them in the comments below and I'll respond. I hope you found this video interesting and useful and you can get started now putting your own wire trellis up. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this then subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you all next time. Bye.